All right, so what we're gonna do is make a bracket for this gimbal. Uh, this is what's going to mount the camera for inside at the desk doing uh, any of the videos on the desk itself. Uh, and this has a rotation, you know, 360 this way. Then it's got 360 this way. And of course you've got this that'll move back and forth like this. And then this section that'll move in and out like this. And so what I wanna do is build a bracket it's about as wide as this is, but it's long, so that I can mount this whole assembly. So what I'm using it on is a TV wall mount. Uh, and then this orientation, and then I need some elevation to move it up and down for the lens and the distance I will need to have the lens away from the mat to be able to do video. So that's where the bracket's gonna come in. The brackets, this is gonna mount to the bracket. There's gonna be a slide in the bracket that's gonna move up and down on the end of that mount. Okay, so uh, this piece of aluminum plate is what I'm going to use to uh, make the bracket, which will be, you know, basically mounted like that. All right, so next thing we're going to do is get this right here in the bandsaw, and we're going to just go ahead and make uh, cut this off here flush. And I gave that little extra, so when I put it in the milling machine, I'm going to mill along here and just uh, flatten this end out. And I'll just put it on the uh, belt sander to, to chamfer these these corners all four corners and then I'll get in here and mill the uh, I'll drill the hole for the mount for the bracket and then mill the slot in here okay so uh, here I've got the piece set up and I have the bandsaw adjusted and the blade is on mark so let's uh, you won't have to watch the whole thing but I'm actually going to make this cut slow, so hopefully the blade don't walk. I think this blade is still dull from cutting some hard metal. So, let's see what we got. It's got a bevel to it, but we've got enough extra on there to take care of that. So we'll be right back. Half bars. Put that in there. And so that puts it about flush. I'm going to kind of center this in here. I don't know where my dead blow is. That'll just have to do. Okay. So. I got it set in there, and what I'm going to do is get this in alignment with this hole right here. Okay, and this is all, this is literally all eyeballing. I mean, there, there's just literally no reason not to. I mean, this is not precision stuff. So you can get so tied up being as precise as possible that... It just takes all day long to do a simple project, and I don't want that. So it's always good to get as close to your work as possible so that your machine is as rigid, rigid as possible. Crank the machine up. I'm going to touch off on it, see if it looks like I'm really centered on the hole or well enough. Let's get started. Well, let's start the machine. out for is binding and carbide end mills are very sharp very durable in as far as holding edge and all that kind of stuff but they break easy and so I had to put the other one in to actually finish the uh, the cut finish the slide out so I'm gonna go inside real quick check this 
to see because if the screw thread isn't thick enough to come all the way to this side and still get the nut on it with a washer, then I'm going to cut another slot on top of this one, larger, the size of the nut, it, it'll be recessed. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't fit, and I didn't think it was gonna fit. So what I have here is a two flute, five eighths um, end mill. And actually to cut aluminum, you really should be running a two flute, not four flute uh, carbide, in which this right here is not carbide, it's just high speed steel. Being as I haven't moved my setup at all, so I'm still centered on this center line. So I have to worry about changing my center line. I just got to watch my cut that I don't go too far. And I do want to overshoot my cut just a little bit so that the nut is recessed up in there, but not by much. Got it. Let me check the nut. I'm pretty sure that is just fine. I still got a lot of meat there, so it's going to still be a pretty sturdy bracket. Okay, so here's the bracket. Not sure how well that's coming in. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but it is, I mean, it's not, it's not a beautiful finish on the inside because I rushed it, I got in a hurry. I cleaned it up a little bit with a file and I dressed up the edges. And it didn't come out quite as matte as I wanted it to. It came out more shiny, but that's fine. I don't really care. I'm not going to round the edges. I'm, I may later on. I just, I'm, I'm tired. Uh, I want to go ahead and get this mounted and see how this works. Uh, so I'd like to uh, take this opportunity to say, if you like what you're seeing, if you're learning something, please comment down below and let me know that you're getting something out of this. And if you feel led to it, I'd ask that you would uh, like and subscribe. Uh, so uh, I guess that's it for the shop for now. We'll get inside. We'll look at this closer. And by the way, this is being filmed on the uh, ZV-E10. Uh, so blame it on it if something's not right. <laughs> or No, nah, blame it on me. It's my fault. I don't know how to use this thing. Um, but anyway, so we get a closer look, and hopefully you can see this a little better. Uh, it won't be installed, so it'll be back on a, uh iPhone uh, 10 XR, uh, showing the close-ups and everything. And All right. <clears throat> see, it's getting crowded in this little spot here. Okay, so... I don't know how well that is actually showing up, but this is the bracket. And uh, you can kind of see the outline of the piece. Um, and at some point I will round this off, I guess, just just because I can. But <clears throat> not at the moment. I mean, I, just, uh, I, I need to get this functional and who knows, this is liable to go up there. Once it gets installed, then it never gets uh, changed. This right here was the uh, cut side, and this was the factory side. So it come out really good. Um, I'm really pleased with the uh, the finish. I could have got the finish, I mean, extremely good. But this is a bracket. I mean, really, I, I don't just, I really just don't need to get it uh, super, super good. I just need to get it functional. And that was the whole intent of this right here was a quick and easy get out there and get something done. So the um, gimbal that you saw out in the shop will bolt in here and this will bolt in here to the TV stand that will swing around from over here um, 
And so the camera gimbal will be mounted out here, adjusted however, and the camera will be setting here, adjusted however, for height. And I can adjust the whole rig up and down using this slide right here on the mount. I'd show you the, the TV mount, but it's mounted and I'm, I ain't unscrewing it. Alright, so there we go. Um, that looks pretty good. We'll see how this sounds. I can actually keep track of my... Because I have the screen that I can flip back towards me so I can keep track of the, the how the sound's going and that it is receiving the sound. It's still recording. It's still recording. And it's uh, battery. That the battery is good. So... Uh, I think this is going to be pretty good. I don't know how it's going to be. That's my little man right there. Uh, uh, reflections and all that kind of good stuff. So <clears throat> there it is. It's in place. It's uh, locked in. Uh, there you don't have the reflection of the light ring let me put this stuff up so yeah i think this is going to work really good uh, i think it's going to be perfect so uh anyway let's see uh, looks like they got that in better focus. Try and zoom in on that in the post to, to look at it to see how visible, readable, and all that is. So I'll have to be more careful about the frame uh, but, because it's not going to be as wide a frame as with the uh, XR. But I am kind of wondering if, I don't know if the, the I forget what it's called, I, image stabilization or steady shot or, or something that causes this camera to crop in and, and it's not as a wide angle of a shot. And, and I don't think this is necessarily a wide angle lens. So I think this is going to work really good. Uh, you'll probably see this set up in, in future and, uh, next video after this one will most likely be with the sound recorder, the H5 in or H5, uh, handheld. So that's all I've got for this right here. Again, uh, if you enjoy this and this has helped you, I would ask that you would comment below and let me know. Uh, and if you feel led to, that you would like and subscribe. And uh, I appreciate you spending your precious time here with me uh, because I know your time is important to you as well as it is to me. So thank you and God bless.